the White House now where President Trump backing off his threat to close the border, a big reversal in just days as he flies to the border in California this morning. Chief White House correspondent John Carl tracking all the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The president's going to Calexico, California, there on the border. He's going to be unveiling a brand new section of border wall, two mile section. There's already a plaque down there calling this the first section of President Trump's border wall uh, to be completed. But George, there should be a, a footnote to that plaque. Uh, for one, this was actually approved. This section of wall was actually approved back in 2009 by President Obama. Um, uh, so this is uh, not exactly, and also it replaces some wall that was there previously. So this is not a brand new section of wall, and it actually is something that was ordered by the previous president, not there, by Donald Trump. Meantime, the president's saying that he's going to keep the border open, at least for now. Uh, just on Sunday, Mick Mulvaney, the White House chief of staff, was telling you on this week that it would take some kind of dramatic change to prevent the president from closing the border. It doesn't seem to have been dramatic change in the last several days. Doesn't seem to be anything dramatic. There has been some action by the Mexican government, though, George, uh, to make it harder for migrants to cross the southern border on the way to the U.S. border, Mexico's southern border. Uh, so there has been some actions by the Mexicans, but there was also intense pressure from Republicans in Congress who warned shutting down that border would have devastating economic consequences. Yeah, across the board. Meantime, the president weighing in uh, to the stories surrounding Joe Biden this week, pretty brazen given the accusations that have been leveled against the president in the past. Yeah, there's that old saying about don't throw stones if you live in a glass house that apparently is not uh, what the president of mine. You see this uh, kind of childish tweet the president put out uh, about Joe Biden. Biden is responding to that with a tweet of his own uh, saying, I see that you are on the job and presidential as always. Of course, the president's been accused of sexual misconduct by more than a dozen women. He was on tape, obviously, uh, with the uh, Access Hollywood tape during the campaign bragging about sexual assault. Uh, so you would think it would be a fight the president would not want to pick, but he is apparently all in. Now, Biden has his first public appearance today here in Washington, speaking to a labor group, his first appearance since this controversy broke. We will keep an eye on that. John Carl, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.